It's a very, very nasty car if it's done right. A little bit of wall tap, hard entry. There we go. What's up everybody and welcome back for part two here of the Viper build, the very expensive Viper build at that. So if you know, we are still kind of broke. We haven't been using it much, been working on some other stuff, but we did put some new parts in this. We put a pro intake, we took the front bumper off, we put a aftermarket diff in there, or a, in it, yeah, an aftermarket diff in the rear, and we also put a aftermarket turbo on here. So that's all we changed. We didn't change settings or anything like that. We just put some diffs on there and stuff like that. So I feel like we should be able to take this out and rip this thing a little more. We're not doing a livery on it yet. I do like it without a front bumper though. So we're gonna go hit some tandems because we didn't really do tandems last time. So we're gonna take this car into tandems and it looks like we got Tokyo Drift Long Beach. We're gonna head there. We're gonna take this section first out with this car and see what we can do. We're at 820 horsepower. We are on pro tires, import class. It looks like we're going against a nice S15. So let's see what we can do now that we have a new diff in the rear and a little more power. There we go, that initiates in a lot smoother. How did that, did that say I hit the wall? I think it did say I hit the wall, unfortunately. Well, now we're gonna have to finish this runoff. I don't think I clipped the wall, but apparently the game said I did. So unfortunately, there goes our clean lead, but we're gonna be able to make it a decent run nonetheless. Third gear on this thing definitely needs to adjust the final drive some when I get a bigger rear diff and everything like that. Would have been like closer to those walls. Every time I say I wanna, oh. The, the, the bump kind of messes with me. Every time I say I want to be close to the walls, I end up smacking into them, and you guys notice it. Oh, I want to be close to the walls. Rabbit crashes. This is how it is. And he timed out, so we did be able to take the win. So we're going to try it again. We're going to try not to clip the front of our car on the wall. This Viper is definitely becoming more and more of a threat. It's a very, very nasty car if it's done right. A little bit of wall tap, hard entry. There we go. Much, much nicer. We're bringing it out there. Bringing out some wall rides there. Trying to get as many of the close call points as we can. This is a much better run as long as we can keep it going. We missed that and we missed those two clips. But I got a little scared when I clipped that wall. I was worried I was gonna lose all my points. We were able to finish this runoff. Not the best because we missed two clips, but still a very solid run in the Tokyo Drift section. This car is definitely throwing down now with the more we've added to it. That wall tab though. So 100 to 50. I have a feeling we're gonna take the win on this unless we totally biff our chase. But this car does have a lot of grip and a lot of power. He's doing a quick flick entry, so we're gonna try and mimic him. Oh, and there, probably what caused his run to go south. Once you have an impact like that, it's really hard to get back into it, and you're kind of thrown off your game, so. I've been there many times before, so we're just gonna try and uh, somewhat keep a chase, not an inactive chase. So I know you guys did see the tease that Torch Drift threw on Instagram. And I know everybody's super excited for the update to come out. You guys know the update will be coming to the channel and we're gonna be having some fun. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking, make sure you guys go check out Torch Drift's Instagram and see the little teaser. If you guys know what it is, then let me know down in the comments. I know a lot of people have been commenting on it. So I wanna see what you guys think fully about it and how you excited you are. I'm definitely excited about it. So we're gonna give this man one more try here and then we're gonna try another track in the Viper. Oh, no, I did not give him another try. I kinda just left. 
fail. So, we got Big M, we got Reticle 9, and we got the Needle. We're gonna go to the Slab. I haven't been in the Slab in a while. I wonder how this Viper's gonna be able to handle the Slab. It does look pretty mean without a front bumper, so... Looks like we're going against George K's 370. So the Viper, definitely a fun machine and a fun car. And it, it definitely takes some finesse to get it to work exactly right. Throwing that hard angle in. I need to be probably being fourth because we missed all of those and I was just over revving. So this car, I'm gonna have to do some gear changing down to third to this section. Oh, keep it, keep it, keep it. We didn't hit the wall hard enough, so. Yep, I should have been in fourth on that entry, so unfortunately we topped out our gear ratio and should have been in fourth instead of third. You guys notice I'm doing a lot more shifting now when I'm drifting. Changing it up a little bit, using more of the gears rather than just staying in one gear, trying to utilize the car's power band a little bit more. And he said no. So we're gonna try that again here. We're gonna go into fourth. We're gonna initiate in fourth. Try to hang out in fourth gear through the big sweeper and then downshift into third when we get into the intersection of the track. Going against Justin in a white 180. 747 horsepower. Starting in second, which is not a not a big gear change. Pop it in the third. Going to fourth. Kick it in, in fourth gear. There we go. Yep, now we have the power to reach all the way out. I would have liked to reach a little bit further out, but handbrake that, downshift it, try and get out here to these clips. So I'm definitely getting more and more comfortable in this Viper the more and more I drive it. Clutch kick tap to keep the car an angle, which is something I don't do much. You guys know if you guys have been for the channel, I don't really clutch kick too much on Torque Drift. Clutch kick a lot in other games, but not so much on Torque Drift, but we are able to bang a solid run in this Viper. A quick transition, that long e-brake crab. Would have liked to have been closer to the wall, but every time I say that, we wreck. Definitely gonna have to be throwing a livery on this car, getting a little more power on this car. And it looks like we have a 70,000 lead to chase down. So hopefully we'll be able to throw it in there. Side pipes just popping off, and he said no. Well, he doesn't want to tandem with us, so I wanted to tandem today, but apparently, how many people want to tandem right now? So I think the tracks probably changed it up a little bit because the gold one disappeared. Oh, it's still there. Let's try another one at Tokyo Drift. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys like what you want to see more, you should tap that like button and subscribe. I do appreciate all the support. I do appreciate all the comments. You guys coming back for these Torque Drift episodes as well as all the other content that is coming to the channel. Money Gang. Let's go, Money Gang. Let's see what you got for the Viper in Torch KS370. Stay in third. Quick flick. Once again, another wall tap entry. Kind of got the wall tap entries down with this Viper. Kind of overshot there. We managed to save that on the tap on those jersey barriers. I don't know how we didn't lose it. Not the smoothest line at the moment. Kind of got thrown off a little bit trying to get back online. There we go. Throw it out there. Run this as wide as possible. Manage that jump. Kick it back. Bottoming the heck out of this Viper. This car is bottoming out a lot. But if you've seen the first episode, part one, this is part two. You guys can see there's definitely a bit of change in how I've been driving this car. And definitely handling a lot better. And he said no. I just can't get some tandems today. I just, nobody wants to throw down. Apparently everybody keeps wrecking or doesn't want to, they're scared of the Viper. I mean, I'd be scared of the Viper too, but you know. I used to see uh, Dean Carney's Viper and be like, nope, I don't want to do that. So let's go to, I haven't done the Big M in a while. So let's try the Big M track before we end this episode off here today for part two of the Viper build, the expensive drift build. Probably the most expensive drift build I've done so far. 
here on the channel. Who are we going to go against today? It's Jason Fox in a Viper. So we got a little Viper showdown. He's got a little more power than me. So we're going to see. Maybe we'll be able to have a decent Viper on Viper battle. I entered that a little bit late. Big M, not one of my best tracks to drive on. Apparently, I probably should have been in fourth gear. And somehow managed to come around that somewhat clean. Not the best run at all. Definitely probably got best in the lead. Ah, not really, it's a pretty close battle, so probably gonna have to do fourth gear first. And then go into third for the other parts of the track. Initiating in fourth. I'll try to probably stay in fourth. We're both sparking. Both Vipers sparking our way down this track. Quick foot transition. Try to suck up on the door a little bit too much. But nonetheless, a decent chase. I think that still should be enough to hopefully take the W. It was 59 to 47. We're gonna go one more time against him. We're gonna go in fourth gear and try and get a better lead. This fourth gear seemed to work for the car here on the Big M track. Shade in. We're gonna miss that one, but it's okay. Got more than last time, and that is not what we needed to do. Oh, that is a tough break thought we were doing good but that was a tough tough run so we're gonna have to hopefully rerun that definitely gonna get bested on that one yep so we're gonna rerun that if he lets me there we go so this will be the last run here for today's episode make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box below let me know what you guys think about torque drifts tees if you haven't seen the tees you should go check out their instagram and see the tees for the update dropping this week all right that's much better and i'll bring this out really wide okay i'm happy with that much better run than last time we managed to get almost every single clip except the one that we're pretty slow on 52 to 58 he bested me so we may take a loss here to this viper on this last run here but I'm not going to be sad. The Viper is definitely handling very well, and I'm very excited with how the car has progressed in just these two little episodes. So there's more to come with this Viper build. More power, more parts, more paint, more tandems, and I'm going to try my hardest to best his chase run and maybe take the win. That's a very solid chase. Could have been a lot closer, but I think we may have taken that in the chase. We did take it just barely in the chase, and he said no. So if you guys want to see more of the Viper build, make sure you comment down below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.